Hey girl, hey, Dana Lynette here. It's been a while, but I'm back. Um, it's about time for a five month lock update, but that's not what we're doing today. Today, we are doing something fun. Um, you guys are going to help me throw away my wigs. <laughs> I have a little collection. Um, you guys know when I decided to lock my hair, I could just kind of did it on a whim. I was um, watching some people on YouTube that inspired me. And next thing I know, <laughs> I was twisting my hair up. So, so I still held on to uh, whatever wigs I had at the time because I just didn't know. I mean, like I was hype to twist my hair, but I didn't know how everything was going to go down. But now that I'm in it, and I'm in it to win it, like I'm, I'm staying locked. Um, I'm ready to throw these things away. So, I am enlisting the help of, we. Uh, I named her Brenda, but we'll call her Unique Geek today. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys these wigs and you know, what they look like and, and we're gonna throw them away. Y'all ready for this? All right, first up, what is this? Oh, this little number right here is Kamaya. I want to say Kamaya is by Otre. And listen, she's been sitting in the closet a while. She's a color 1B. And uh, she's long. I have altered her a tad. Not too much. Did I? Wait, did I cut her? I don't know. But this is Kamaya. She was a disappointment. Um... All, all these wigs, by the way, are synthetic. Like, I don't, I didn't do expensive human hair wigs. Like, that just wasn't my thing. But, um, everybody say goodbye to Kamaya. I am not going to wash her. I am not going to give her away. This was a terrible wig anyway. But, um, bye-bye, Kamaya. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that felt good. What else? Next up is, this was a cute little number. This is a, a natural hair looking, this was a lace wig by Sensationnel. Uh, this one, let's see. I have a review of her on my channel. I had, but uh, Lord, Etta and Ella, and I think this is Ella, but um, yeah, she was, um, <laughs> okay, she, she looks absolutely crazy on this mannequin head, but you guys can, you know, see the vision. There's a lot you can do with it. It's a, a natural looking curly style type of situation. And I have fun with her. I kind of want to hold on to her, but listen, I'm so over wigs. I don't know if I'll ever put another one on my head again. I mean, maybe, but right now I'm just not feeling it. I don't want to throw her. I do. All right, that's two. Two down. How many more? I don't know. All right, so here's another natural looking number. This one, Lord, what is this? I mean, this is a lace wig. See, with the lace wigs, you put that um, scar away, silicone strips that help you fade, help scars fade away. Put those in the part and it helped the part to look better. Actually, I think this is Ella. Maybe Etta is what I just threw away. Wait, this is Bobby Boss. So the brand is Bobby Boss. I'm sorry, I thought I was going to remember these wigs. And the packaging is all over the place, so I'm not sure which is what. But a few of them have reviews if you look at my... um. Oh, this is Bobby Boss Etta. Maybe this is Etta. I have a review on her my wigs galore playlist. Let's put her on Brenda. This is some big hair, big curly hair. So I wasn't a huge fan of like that first one, Kamaya, like the straight ones. Uh, my favorite one happened to be a straight one, but most of the wigs that I liked had something to them, you know, not just long straight hair so i'm rolling up at a goodbye this week listen these wigs are still wearable i can wash these suckers 
but I'm just over it. Like, I want to wear my hair. You know, I want to see black girls wearing their hair and not like obsessing with the cover ups, you know? But that's another story, another day. Right now, we're focused. All right, so now I got a little stack of them. Let's, let's start on the bottom. Oh, this number right here. All right, this was my favorite wig of all time. It was um, Free Tress Shake and Go Valentino. Valentino was that bomb. I mean, she was it. She was that girl. I got Valentino on a 1B. This is FF Golden Brown. I got her in FF uh, Cream. Actually, I didn't keep Cream. I, I bought that for somebody else. They paid for it. But um, let me show y'all this. Woo! If I had an attachment, like Valentino was a $20 wig, a $20 synthetic wig, and it was the best wig I ever owned in my life. And I've owned a lot of wigs, a lot of little cheap synthetic wigs. But I put her away. No, Sorry about that, y'all. I, I got a call, and I didn't realize that my camera stopped recording. Like, I didn't talk to y'all about this, threw it in the trash, and, and then I realized I wasn't recording and had to dig it back out. But, um... Oh, Lord, what other one did I not show y'all? All right, so let's talk about Valentino. Valentino was my favorite wig of all time. I have had a few human hair wigs, synthetic and human blend. Uh, most of my wigs have been um, synthetic, and I've been wearing wigs for over... I don't know, I think I've worn wigs for like at least 20 years, like from... I think I started wearing wigs when I was 20 something and I'm 41 right now and I just twisted my hair when I was 41. I just locked it and so I've wore wigs for 15 to 20 years and this was my favorite wig of all time and the color 1B was my favorite but I really like this FF golden brown and look at how cute she is like I don't threw something in the trash picked her back up put her on this wig and it's just I cut a few I cut a little bit off the bottom because it was too long, but y'all, this unit. Look at that color. Look at these face framing highlights. Like, I don't want to throw it away. Like, I had a hard time throwing it away when I thought I was recording and I dug it out. Now I got to throw it away again. And I'm still catching feelings. But I'm just, I'm not about that life anymore. You know? Can we wear our hair? Can we? Please? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with wearing wigs on occasion, but my goodness, like the obsession with bundles, <laughs> the obsession with lace wigs, you know, the obsession, like you are beautiful. Your hair is beautiful. Don't let anybody lie to you within or without the culture that you need to cover up that nappy stuff, whatever. Girl, listen, get free, rock your hair. You ain't got to chemically process it. You don't have to heat and flat iron it and, and hot comb it till it's limp and won't move. Like your hair, the way it grows out of your head is beautiful. And if you don't want to put all the time, energy, and effort that goes into caring for ethnic hair sometimes, then do what I did. Lock it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I mean, don't fall into the trap of, you know, when it's time to be cute, when it's time to, you know, step out. You know, I got to cover up what is me. Like, what is that all about? But anyway, let's move on to the next wig. All right, you guys also missed me talking about Kiari, which I also threw away thinking I was recording. And so now she's all... I pulled her out of the package. I had her packaged all nice and she looked new. This one has been flat ironed. But Kiari, I believe it's by Sensation Now. I'll link the my review to this one. This was another beautiful one. Look at how thick this is for a synthetic wig. Like, that is so thick. It is so much hair. It, it did get a little shiny after I flat ironed it, but um, it's cute. With the part, let's see, do you have parting space on Kiari? Yeah, you got a little parting space. But you got to know how to finagle it. But anyway, this was also a lovely unit, but um, I'm just saying I ain't about that life no more, y'all. I'm, I'm all about 
rocking my natural tresses and stuff. And I'll have my five month um, lock update um, hopefully by the end of this week. Um, and this unit is Nuna. It's a pixie cut. I bought this and it didn't, the cap didn't fit my head. My head is too big for that wig. So I didn't wear it. It's been sitting in my closet waiting for me to give it away. And I'm going to find someone to give that wig to who is into wigs and who is into like pixie cuts and stuff. But my, uh, my locks are flourishing. We're doing, we're doing well over here. I got a little banana clip messy updo action going on today. But, um, yeah, I'll be six months locked, uh, June 3rd, and it's, it's been great not, you know, doing this all the time. I, I didn't realize how much money I was spending either on just a little synthetic ones. Imagine if I was wearing, like, natural hair. So, am I saying I will never wear a wig again? Probably. <laughs> but, I mean, if I do, that's fine. And, and again, hear me, I'm not saying there's anything wrong for people who wear wigs, but I am saying there is something wrong, terribly wrong, if that there really is like maybe a, a deep-seated, maybe even unrecognized issue of not accepting oneself because of the, you know, the, the culture or society or whatever the pushback is against ethnic hair. My hair is kinky. My hair is not straight and I'm not going to chemically process it with all these harsh and dangerous chemicals um, to get it to look sleek or whatever. Um, like why? Why would I do that? Why did I do that? I did that because that was in my mind a definition of beauty. But honey, listen, you looking at it right here. She's locked up. What? <laughs> All right, I'm being extra, but on a serious tip, I need to have a round table. I need to get some of my uh, ethnic sisters, and particularly my black sisters, together. And we just need to be on the channel and talk about it. We need to talk about this whole beauty thing and, and the things that kind of creep in, sometimes unaware that I think we need to recognize are there and uproot. So we'll talk about that. So if this, uh, if this video was entertaining or informational or encouraging in any way, hit that like button and subscribe. And uh, we'll be back. Turn on your notifications because I'll be back uh, in about a week with my six-month DIY micro lock update. Thanks for your support. Peace.